Yeah, boy. Hello guys and welcome back to Basketball Report. As you know, the best in Africa when it comes to basketball. And today we're at a team which actually, yeah, could be a uh, dark horse. Uh, we had uh, Charlotte, the Hornets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, today we're going to just do a quick preview of the season, what we expect, what position and all that stuff and what they can do forward so yeah without further ado <laughs> <laughs> okay so obviously the owner is a little bit of a surprise package uh, last season um they lost momentum towards the end but also due to injuries and stuff to gordon Hayward. uh i think this team has gotten a lot of criticism for the money they've spent on certain players and i think that criticism has been unfair yeah terry rosier scary terry has been great gordon Hayward has done his part and I think now this team is in a good space. Lamello, his second season, he also had a little bit of an injury issue. Uh, they got Plumley as well. So I think this roster now has improved significantly from last season. I do think we're going to miss Devontae Graham. Uh, I think he gave him a lot of three-point shooting. And I mean, Devontae Graham had, had a nice story, uh, you know, as a player who was fairly non-existent. Yeah. I and mean, all of a sudden just scored like 20 out of nowhere. But the acquisition of, of Lonzo, or not Lonzo, Melo, really dented his growth. But I still think this team has a lot of depth. And oh, acquiring yeah. Kelly Oubre, I like it as well. I think Kelly Oubre can give him good scoring. 18 points per game, on mean, decent efficiency. And once again, like I said, it's a price package. And this is a fun team. Yeah, it's a fast playing mm -hmm. team, dunks, passes. And I would say, yeah, the, the critique and all that stuff, what Jordan did and you know I think it's a bit harsh I think actually think this this team is on the right path to becoming a good team in the east you know they're still going towards that but as Christian said we had some injuries at the Hornets you know the mellow with his I think it was a hand or yeah, something hand and Gordon Gordon Ayer, was, you know he's Gordon he's injury prone, but I mean it's fine yeah I, I, I still think their biggest problem at the moment is their power forward and center they need a bit more scoring uh, at the center and you know power forward you, you, yeah you have pj Washington and miles bridges but miles bridges is actually just he's there for the tongues yeah i mean fantastic dunker yeah. very entertaining really yes, yes. pj washington is solid but he just goes under the radar yeah every so, time you forget he's on the roster i mean watch a game like oh okay. pj washington's day he's actually good but i think he needs to make that jump as well and at center spot as well, Cody Zala, I mean, uh, apart from posterizing, yeah, <laughs> I mean, apart from posterizing Giannis, not much to his name, uh, and Plumley is also is decent. Just Plumley, yeah, we need, yeah, we need to improve on on that side of. of definitely, the I, I would say defense, you know, also, but uh, I, I think they can do the scoring, uh, you know, Gordon, Perry, and also Ball, you know, I think those three can do the scoring, but the defense. I just don't see it. Um, I think they got, they're still. I think they're still building. I don't. I don't think we have to expect this team is going to. Yeah, I also think it's a little rebuilding. Yeah. I mean, they've been rebuilding for ages, but let's say just rebuilding since moving on from Kemba. Yeah, yeah. They were surprisingly good when Kemba left. Everyone thought they were going to be down and <laughs> out, but yeah. you know they they picked themselves up and the season. I mean, the off season they got rid of Malik Monk. Devante Graham, which I think still had potential, but maybe it was dead potential. I think have to see this season. Yeah, I, I, I just think, I think they have a clear vision of what they need to do. And as we are saying, power forward, center, definitely places they need to be working on. And also, you know, maybe acquiring another decent point guard that comes from the bench. Um, uh, so no, I got options. It depends yeah. on what you do with with Lonzo. You know, Lonzo can play f between like point to about small forward even, and and Rozier as well. Either PJ or shooting guard. I uh, mean, maybe you need some cover there defensively. Yeah, definitely. So maybe look at a good perimeter defender. You know, I just thought about this, but uh, a Jeremy Grant in this team yeah, I mean, would, Jeremy Grant would be, be quite good. It's going to be difficult to, to, to get to a guy like Jeremy Grant. Yeah, but I'm just, uh, just thinking maybe like a guy like Jeremy Grant. He can also almost play everything. But the thing is, you can play him a power forward or a small forward. And I think he's a bit more 
better on defense and it will give you about 20 game also which i think they just need to you know i don't know, just get i don't think they're going to tank or something like that i just think they are going to stop, try to rebuild by free agency and trades and that stuff um that's what i think they're going to do this season to be honest uh i uh, don't know actually where they are going to be seated you can get uh, on with I, that that's a, that's a difficult one um okay well first of all let's say lamello makes another jump this season improving on his rookie season they could be better than last season obviously injuries is the main issue with this team last season they were very good and then injuries hit and they were you know going down a little bit yeah. so let's say the team stays fit I could see them like seven eighth. Mm, yeah, I would also say yeah, solid play, just, solid playing. Uh, or, or let's say yeah. if they're lucky, a solid playing. Yeah, maybe uh, even no need for playing games. Yeah. I think best case scenario. Uh, taking injuries into consideration, eight and ten. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they're gonna miss the, the playing games. I think it's gonna be a hard task to to miss it. Uh, just looking at that week for the bottom of the, the yeah, season. the bottom five, yeah. So they would be competing with uh, teams like the Knicks and the Bulls and the Celtics for his last play playoff spot. Yeah. Um, it's just gonna have to see what happens. I mean, maybe it's, the, it's pa- a, the Pacers. Wars, yeah, well, the Pacers as well. I mean, it's a difficult team to like pinpoint and say, look, you know, this is where we're gonna finish because if everything goes well and they can stay fit, they can maybe even be like five. Five. That's the, oh, that's a maybe a little bit high, yeah. but I mean, just looking at. Let's the say incons- I would say a solid just seven. Just looking at the inconsistency <laughs> from the East. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's going because to... the the uh, Heat as well. I mean, well, finals yeah, a couple geez. season back last season didn't Bubble. really make the cut. Bubble. And I mean, when this team was fit, they were like four or five. Yeah, last I, season, so. I would say definitely playing games. I think it's hard to miss it, like Richard said. Yeah, and, especially um, in the East. In the East, yeah, that's it. The last yeah, after teams. we finish it. So, <laughs> um, it. yeah, well, best case scenario for me is here about 6 7. You know, uh, I would say they're, they're around about. But uh, I'm looking forward to what the team done does this season, what moves they make, um, and, you know, an improvement of Lamelo and, you know, what can we, yeah. No, got, just what, what, what's going to see from this guy? Vibes there. He was decent. I still think Edwards had a better rookie season. That's just my personal opinion. I think he's overrated by the media, but it's still intriguing to see where this guy yeah. will come up. I don't think he's going to be an MVP, but maybe he'll be a good, you know, all-star for years to come. Yeah. I think he's better than Lonzo. Oh, definitely. That's so, what no, well, that's not really an achievement. Yeah, he's definitely true. better than Angelo. Yeah, that I'm guy is shit. But uh, no offense, Lamar. I'm better than him, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that will be the end. Final prediction, sort of playing play in game team. And uh, yeah, uh, as always, yeah. remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you guys think about the Hornets. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, as always, hit that jumper. That-